Thursday, December 7, 2017. California has been set on fire again. The videos of red hot flames washing down over mountainsides are truly frightening. I am so much an untethered balloon seeking a safe place to land. The days pass and sometimes I tie down, but eventually the winds come and rip the tethers from their anchor and I am again lifted into the upper currents. As I look upon the world, scouring the land for a safe place to be, I realize there is no safe place here, not in this world. I may find shelter for a time, but what my heart always speaks to me, this world is not my home. It reminds me that this time in history is just a moment, a breath, dust blown in the wind. Only the place that Jesus provides is safe. While I'm traveling this place, yes, I have divine appointments, good works that God himself prepared in advance for me to do. So my daily mission is to seek his presence. Let him fill me with courage and then go out clothed in his armor and take my stand. I used to search for someone who understood this daily search I take. I realize now that there are few, if any, and my only refuge is in God, the Father, and His Holy Spirit. All this, the cars and trucks, the businesses, the houses and electricity, none of it is real. What is real is what will last. What is eternal? It's the beings, the beings who are eternal. Loving them kindly, purposefully, with time and gentle help, that is real. All the rest, regardless of what the TV says, is pointless chasing after wind and dust. Always, always. Abba brings me to this place. My heart aches that those who see me pity this life and circumstance that they see. They want me to have. They think I deserve better. Electricity, a shower. I was even offered a TV. What I need, I need those who see me to understand the lessons that God the God who created the heavens has taught me. You don't need bigger, better, more of any of these things that you insist on pursuing. You need Him. You need His Word washing you daily from the stench of living in a wicked world. You need your heart full of the joy that comes from not striving for more worldly goods, but from seeking Him. You need to know that no matter what fire or storm is coming at you, He is your refuge. You need every day to seek the full armor of God. The days are growing more and more evil. The enemy, the great liar and deceiver, is seeking to destroy your very soul. And these days, it is not just disease and disaster he uses. It is that ultimate lie that it's all fine. You're only seeking comfort here on this planet after all. You're not thieving or deceiving to get it. You work an honest job. You earn your way. And you're busy, very busy, extremely busy doing good things. And you do it in the name of Jesus. But you are so terribly busy. Your time is metered out and you're stretched to ultimate limits. Certainly God understands 
you simply do not have time to seek him earnestly. You, my friend, are missing the mark. You are missing the courage, wisdom, and strength to be had. You are missing the joy of being in your Creator's presence. And you are missing the opportunity to bring delight to your King by simply sitting at His feet. I pray for you. I pray that your eyes will be open to see this truth. I pray your ears will be able to hear the gentle call of the shepherd. I pray your heart will desire simply to be with the one who created you and longs to spend time with you. I pray that you will be kept safe under his wings until the appearing of Jesus, of Yeshua HaMashiach, and I pray that that great day of His appearing is soon, very soon. Come, O oh Adonai, come quickly. Amen and Amen.